Hi guys, uh, yet another uh, vinyl update video and um, it's going to be a short one, uh, I promise, this time not 20 minutes. Uh, I have a few things that I want to show, but first of all, <clears throat> I want to thank somebody that I wanted to thank for a couple of videos and I keep forgetting to mention him. Uh, his name is Michel, he, has, he sent me an email under the name of Cosmic Shocker uh, and it was at the time that I went to Paris. Um, and he said that, hey, you know, if you're going to Paris, here are some really good record shops that you should visit. And, you know, if you have time, you know, and, you know, you want to go together, you know, it would be great. Uh, sadly, uh, he sent it to an email address that I don't use as the main one. My YouTube account is not linked up to that one. Uh, although he very uh, yeah it was it was a good good guess but it, it's not the one that I'm actually using I should that that should have been the one so I saw the email by accident almost uh, after I came back from Paris so sorry mate I mean I've, I've emailed you back I'm really sorry about that but thanks very much for for the offer and thank you thanks very much for the information I will try to look these up next time I'm there um, so yes records so I got some stuff this week uh, some stuff online and some stuff going to uh, Rough Trade East which is very close to where I live so you know I just pop there and for <laughs> just to have a look and I usually <coughs> end up picking up something so this is from my favorite online shop uh, because sadly in the UK most of the good record shops are online. Um, so Norman Records sent uh, out a bulletin saying that oh you you know there is a, a new uh, a new box set from Free de Mer and uh, it's called Strange Fish. It took me like five seconds to have a think about whether I should buy it or not, and I bought it. It was it's six records. Um, for 49 pounds, and I know that for the man, when somebody, something comes out, it usually gets disappears almost immediately. So it was either then or never. And sure enough, I checked like next day or a few hours later, and it was gone. So I also checked on uh, on uh, on the site because I hate showing stuff that you cannot really get. Uh, but um, yeah, it is a little bit confusing because. Norman Records sold the box set, whereas they say that they they will sell them individually. I, I, it's very confusing. Anyway, this is a box set. It's called Strange Strange Fish. Uh, it has uh, these four records. Uh, two of them are um, Fish Two and Fish Three are double LPs. So yeah, in fact, it's six records and a CD, which is really nice. Yeah. Let me get it out. It's like a seven inch. I haven't listened to this one, and uh, I'm currently listening to the third record, third LP, second record. This is the the CD, which comes has grooves, make grooves. Uh, they don't play. I, I don't think they play anyway. And it's black, like, like an LP. Really nice. It's it's very cheap. And uh, one of the things that I noticed when I got it is like this is seriously flimsy. I mean, it's not a box, it's not a cardboard. <laughs> it's just something to put, you know, collection of records in. But then again, it's like, you know, six records, 49 pounds, come on. I mean, it's dirt cheap. And there's another funny thing. <coughs> they had this thing on. And so it's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> they printed it out, it was like, uh, <coughs> Strange Fish 3, oh, no, 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 <coughs> strike that, it's 2, <laughs> they send it like this, so DIY, so funny. Anyway, the, um, the compilation here is um, an homage to uh, <coughs> crowd rock and cosmic, cosmic music, and it, it's very varied, it's just all over the place, so you get stuff like this that's playing in the background, you get stuff like in the first record that is, um, this is record three, this is record two, this is record one. This is the first record, and this, this guy, Craig Padilla and uh, Sandelka, which synth, and it's 
bloody amazing. I, when I first heard it, I, I put it on. The first record I put it was four. It was really good. This is mind blowing. And on the side, it had, as I said, it had, um, I don't know if I said it already, but I thought about it. I don't know whether I, uh, I verbalized it. They shown that they, you could possibly buy individual records because there was no box set. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. But if you do find any copies, do get this one. This is just mind-blowingly good. Not, not to say that the other ones are not are bad or anything. Uh, they're really good. Um, I sort of don't agree with some of the last tracks on side one and two on uh, Strange Fish 2 because they go into a little bit of a more hard rock kind of thing uh, but overall great quality great great stuff and you know if uh, you know as I said if you if you ever come across this as individual records try to pick up this one which is number one it's just fantastic if you like this you know this is this is what you get for um, for the rest of the records this is uh, as I said three um, and it's the first time I'm listening to it as well so I don't know what's going on here what to expect so yes this is uh, strange fruit really good uh, I wish that you know I could say that you know it's readily available but yeah it's a bit of a uh, it's a bit of an odd one and some other records here so uh, quick one very quick one Daft Punk you know the latest one I mostly got it for my girlfriend because she wanted it um, yeah disco beats whatever it's, it's really nice summer album I mean really good I wouldn't have bought it as I said I bought it for my girlfriend she likes it and you know it's, it's a way for me to get away with uh, having records all over the place because she gets to listen to records as well so she cannot really complain so it's a good strategy tip for you guys out there so <laughs> uh, yeah some uh, easy stuff to show um, this guy uh, Michael Chapman uh, fully qualified survivor the ratio on light in the attic I have Rainmaker as well. To be honest, this is a really good record. I prefer Rainmaker. I think it's a little bit more, I don't know, uh, has a little bit more energy. <laughs> Here, I was reading this and it was saying, uh, you know, the, the description. Uh, it says, um, uh, it's, uh, where does it say that? Uh, da, 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 um, perfect album for a lazy day and a joint. Very good description, actually. Really good. Thumbs up to that. Um, I went to uh, to Rough Trade East, and uh, that's where I got this one. And I also got this one, Gin Aquarian, and Plastic Crime Wave. Plastic Crime Wave is sort of a, a, a guru in uh, 60 psychedelia, uh, you know, and whatnot. Uh, Gin Aquarian was in the uh, uh, in the Oh, what's her name? Fuck's sake. Yeah, and in, in these guys. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, so he has played in, in these records in the Father Yod, um, uh, the Source family. He was part of the Source family and he has played in a lot of, uh, lot of the records. I don't know if all of them or some of them or anything like that. And actually, you do get, I'm gonna take you home, uh, number. Uh, on, Take You Home On 2, which is like, I'm Gonna Take You Home, which was played by uh, by the um, by the Source family. Oh, what's their name? Fuck's sake. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm, uh, yeah, uh, the, yeah, it's, uh, who's talking about it? <laughs> yeah, my memory is shit when it comes to that stuff. Yeah, Father Young. And the spirit of 76 or something like that yeah so that's how they were called so anyway yeah they, they do a take on that which is which is all right because it's just an amazing song anyway and uh the record is uh is all right it's good psychedelia um yeah nothing you know mind-blowing on there or anything but it was, it was cheap and it was all right and you know i also got this one <laughs> 
اركن فراي الكترونيك تركلي تركي تركولير تركولير الكترونيك تركولير يا كريس 4127 باسكت شو ذس said oh I was either this or some some other one I don't remember anyway and he said oh it's really good and I said well you know what I'm I'm a bit apprehensive about these and these records because I've they sound they they have these sounds that you know for non you know I'm not a Westerner basically so you know I have been exposed to this kind of Eastern music especially Turkish music it's it's a lot a lot of the popular music in Greece is very sounds very much like this. So I hate popular music, Greek popular music, modern popular music. So because uh, yeah, I, this sounds similar. It doesn't sound exotic, and it sounds like the stuff that I mocked, so and made fun of, and I cannot really bring myself to to listen to this. Having said that, for anybody that is not from that area of the world, this might sound amazing, but for me it doesn't. And I bought it because I know that it's not very, very easy to find. I think that they're going, you know, they, they, you won't be able to find them for very long. That's one thing. Second thing is that I trust Chris, uh, Christoph. Um, you know, he, he has pointed me to very the correct direction many times, and I was like. Screw that, I'll give it another try, but I cannot bring myself to listen to this. I mean, I am put it on and I was like, oh, no, I knew, I knew. Anyway, that's me, that's me. Uh, I mean, don't don't listen to me when it comes to these kinds of things, because I'm not, I'm not a very good gauge at that. Yeah, no, my, my opinion is not very, very, um, it's, it's not unbiased. Um, this is something that you can uh, get my opinion on, which I really like. Uh, it was shown by Anders and has been uh, has been on my radar for a long time. And then the Cherry and the Thing, and she's doing here some um, covers from things from people like uh, Suicide, Dream Baby Dream, which is like a, the grimmest song ever. I mean, all all suicide songs are really grim, but it sort of makes it happy. <laughs> Uh, really nice stuff, great, great jazz, uh, really nice, really nice vibe to this record, really nice. So, yeah, a record that has been shown by Mike, Bostoni and Reggie, and my guess is that uh, some other people might have shown it. Uh, Mr. Fartboy, uh, 79, so, you know, uh, yeah, I slept on it because uh, Fire Orchestra, I slept on it, I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, well, you know, I could find the other ones because I had I have one more because I bought it, not because I knew Fire Orchestra, but because I knew Oren Barchi and I, I follow his, his, his stuff because uh, he's, he's an Australian uh, drummer and he's done stuff like a collaboration with Fire Orchestra, he's done stuff with Keiji Haino, he has done stuff on his own. He's very prolific and very varied in his output, it's not just one thing that he's doing. So I could find the other one quite easily, I was like, alright, you know what, I stalled buying the other one and I could get it when I wanted to buy it, so I stalled with this one and I couldn't, <laughs> it was sold out. Uh, very much to my frustration, but I finally found a copy and this is just bloody amazing, unbelievable free jazz. and. Uh, Highly recommended. Just yeah, you can you can check it out on Spotify. It's just an amazing, amazing musical thing happening here. I cannot I cannot really explain it. And uh, 14 minutes. That's really good. Doing really good with time. And two final records. Very quickly. Super highly recommended. Troller with a very weird cover. I mean, what what does this mean? I mean, what is this guy all about? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Musically, this is uh, this is amazing though. It's um, it's dark electronic sounds. Um, if you know uh, what's the name, <laughs> here you go. Here we go again. Hang on one second. Oh. 
Yes. That was quick. So, uh, what the, this sound uh, sounds like is like this one, if you heard about these guys, without the super heavy guitars. So it's like the Angelic process, but uh, really dreamy kind of uh, vocals and dark electronic uh, sounds in the background. Heavy, heavy bass as well, which I think is probably actually played rather than programmed. Very good. You can find it on Spotify as well, at least in the UK. Highly recommended that you check it out. It's fantastic stuff and it's been reissued. This is the original, I think. And uh, yeah, do check this out. Really, really good. Finally, one last one. Uh, Cult of uh, Dom Keller. This is, uh, this is some uh, British band. It's out on Cardinal Fuzz. Uh, Cardinal Fuzz that have um, issued records from the Cosmic Dead. Uh, the Live Heads album, this one. Um, this one. So, <clears throat> they're on a, on a roll, really, these guys, Cardinal Fuzz. And uh, these guys sound psychedelic, as you would expect, and a lot of shoegaze elements. Yeah, this sounds this is very crowd rockish. Uh, so, yeah, really good. I uh, really like this one, really enjoyed this one. And that is the update. And yeah, and that's, uh, uh, that's all I have. <coughs> I would like to thank everybody that's watching my videos, uh, everybody that has subscribed, everybody that's commenting, and everybody that's you know, liking and liking, whatever, you know. As always, you know, do leave your comments, I do like, do enjoy the interaction, that's, that's always, the, always the point. Um, yeah, and uh, let me know what you think. I haven't done any little drop videos lately, um, probably will do some. Uh, and uh, yeah. That's it, so see you around guys.